hi guys welcome to this video so in this video we are going to create a leather ball using creo parametric as you guys have seen in this thumbnail itself okay so we are going to create a ball here so this is not just a outline of the ball okay so we are going to create the stitches also so yeah definitely like we will use a revolve tool uh, for creating a ball right so here we have to create a stitches so we need to use multiple revolves for that okay so let's get started and uh, yeah while starting this we can able to understand what i'm saying okay so let's unclick this template and let's rename our part as leather ball okay so then our unit as mms portfolio dbs okay so now I'm going to start with my friend sketch. So let's go for the sketch and let's go for the sketch view. So yeah, at first I'm going to draw a circle like this and this diameter it will be 50 and we are going to create a sphere, right? So I'm just going to delete this and let's draw a center line like this. Okay. So either you can make it as a solid part, but for now I'm just going to use this as a surface part okay so let's go for the revolve and as a solid and this value as one so that will be the thickness and let's check whether this is got placed inside the part okay or else like you can be able to switch this as a outside and as a symmetric and as an inner side okay so i need this to be on an inner face so let's click on okay here so you can see it's sharing with edges and you can see your sphere it's got uh, created like most of them will struggle like how to create a sphere in creo okay either you can use uh, so this is one of the best tool like revolve which is used for creating any kind of uh, uh, spherical features okay so even though like if we need this entirely solid part as you can see when we go for the section you can see it has got some thickness here right so if we need to get this as a full complete solid you can go for the sketch and then you can directly draw a line like from here till here so then it will be closed so if you go for the revolve it will be directly uh, moved on for a solid it will not ask whether you need to add thickness for your solid part okay so yep so this is good so yeah so then we need to create the stitches right so for that so let me just select the front plane and go for the sketch and then let's go for the sketch view so yeah here i just i'm going to um draw a slanted rectangle like this and let's go for the dimensions so this total length oh, wait for a minute okay so now this length it will be 1.6 okay so then um yeah this width will be 0 0.3 yeah it's fine and then this distance will be 1.14 i don't have any measurement guys this is um my own dimensions if you need this exact dimension which i'm using in this current video you can comment below so that i will convert this as a 2d diagram and i will upload this on our channel website okay so then this height it will be 0 0.6 and this angle yeah so this will be 132 okay like we need to create uh like this uh like a one more and one more here right so let me just um yeah select this entire sketch and once I can copy this and I can paste it here. Okay, let me just uh, like this and this value as zero and uh, this will be minus 1.5. Okay, so let's click on okay here. Now I'm just going to place it for one more time here and uh, this will be three, sorry, zero. And yeah, I forgot to tell you about this copy paste option. If you are directly change this option to zero, it won't change. Okay. At first you need to drag like this and you have to place this like somewhere else. 
so then you can able to edit this value okay and this entire distance it will be minus 3 okay so yeah let's click on okay here and yeah we have completed with this so um, let's click on okay here okay so we need to create a sectional view for this because so that we can able to create an extrude on the top okay so let's go for the view let's go for the section i'm just going to make uh yeah let me just check where it make where my sketch has been placed it is placed on the is a direction so we need to take a section on x direction okay so go for the section x direction and let me just and drag like this okay so now let's select this sketch and let's uh, go for the extrude and for this extrude yeah i'm going to select the side two as two selected and select this surface and i'm just going to drag it like this and then we can able to edit this height value okay so this extruded value as 25 okay now it looks like this but um like after we can able to create this by using revolve option we can able to remove material like this extruded parts okay so this will be 25 so then let's click on ok here now I just want to uh, mirror this extrude to the center plane and then let's click on okay okay it looks fine right oops sorry I don't, I don't want this mirror I'm just going to sorry I'm just going to mirror this towards this plane okay like this yep it looks good so I'm just going to make this two as a group so then we can able to create a pattern for this or else like if you are going, going to um, pattern this like selecting individually like if I'm going to pattern this both if I you select like extrude and mirror if you go for the pattern it will be hide here it will not an uh, active part or else like you can go for the geometry pattern and you can create uh, like an access pattern here but I won't recommend you that because we have a group option right so you can select this two and you can make it as a group and then you can be able to see now the pattern option is available here right so let's go for the pattern okay so we don't have an axis right so let's go for the axis and let's select uh, this x axis and i need a pattern number of 130 and 360 equally spaced and then let's click on ok here so definitely it may take some time to regenerate our model or else like sometimes your um this your software will crash because like, like this is fine because we have we are going to create around like uh 130 numbers into six right so it's around like 600 and or 750 like something so if we are going to create this much of a pattern sometimes our software may get crashed and you may have a pop-up window of uh, like not creo as not responding or also you, you may have a pop-up window on the right side bottom showing as regeneration fade like yeah. so then you can able to regenerate it one more time and then you can able to verify whether this model is got generated okay so yep i don't want this section view right now because as you can see the sketches on created on the outside of the circle inner we have a hole here right so look it looks good so yeah let's go and make this as inactive and yeah let me like i said before we need to delete this because you can see this extrude is one length and this extrude is one height some like there will be a slightly height difference between this right so let's select this plane okay so let's go for the sketch and let's go for the sketch view so here at first i'm going to draw um two circles like this where the inner circle dia like it will be uh, 50.50 okay, you know you can see it got some extra cut feature here so yeah, you may also reduce this to 60 if you want okay or else like you may have any dimension for this because everything that will be extrude cut option right so you can add any value more than this okay so 
yes so this radius will be 25.25 okay good so now let's delete um this, this single side and then it's complete our sketch by drawing a line here or else like we will have only the surface feature here right so let me just create a center line for this because we are going to use revolve option here so if you revolve this part now we can go for the remove material features and then you can see everything as the same height right so let's click on ok here ok let's go for the regenerate ok now we have created a feature here and for the next I need to create a center line here because these two individual circles like a semicircle will got merged right so for the part I'm going to select uh, this plane as a front plane go for the sketch and then let's go for the sketch view so here at, at first I'm going to draw a center rectangle like this and let's have this height and the distance value so this height value will be 5 and this width value it will be 0 0.7 okay so let's click on ok here and let me just make this part as an active one more time because we are going to create an extrude feature for the sketch so let's select this sketch and go for the extrude and this will be the same right so let's go for the options to select this surface and let's drag it like this and then let's drag it like this so this will be the same okay so it will have some different values so let's keep it as 28 and then we can able to extrude cut this okay so before we are going to the extrude cut i'm just going to uh, pattern this part right so let's select this extrude and let's go for the pattern and as an axis pattern so we don't have access for the x-axis so let's select x-axis itself and this pattern numbers as 30 and equally spaced and then let's click on ok here <coughs> excuse me okay so now you can see features got created but we don't want this much of extrude so we can create one more revolve for extruding this part okay so let's select this surface and go for sketch and then let's go for the sketch view and i'm going to do the same which we have done before right one circle like this and one circle like this so let's reduce uh, this diameter value as 50.50 right okay so it got synced with this okay so now let's delete uh, this side and then let's complete our sketch for the revolve and from here till here okay so then let's okay sorry i forgot to draw a center line okay so let's click on okay and let's go for the revolve okay it will take some time okay we got let's go for the remove material option and now we can see how feature is got created right so let's click on ok and let's click on regenerate one more time and let's hide this sectional view so now we can see our part is created and one more thing like we have to do is like we need to create a text for this and we have to do the same revolve option for the sketch also okay so for the revolve i just want to make this as an active one more time here okay fine or else like we don't want this because we're going to create a plane for this okay so let's go for the plane let's select this plane i'm just going to create a plane um yeah like this let's go for the top view and let's create a plane like this okay or else like this so now i'm just going to sketch on the new plane so let's go for the sketch let's go for the sketch view so here at first i'm going to draw i'm going to go on with my text okay so for the text let me just uh, type my uh, channel name okay escape rotate and resize let's rotate it as a horizontal text and let me resize this and drag it towards the center okay or else like uh, you can edit this as 
zero point four five. Drag it to its center. Okay, let's click on OK here. Or else, like you can able to uh, measure this entire length from. Like, yeah, we can't able to measure this right. Whether you can change like this, like seven. Okay, or else let's place a point here and uh, yeah, here. And this distance will be 8.6. Or else let's go for the dimensions from here till here. Okay, it has some slanted angle, right? So yeah. So let's go for the dimensions from here till here 15.68. So this will be 15.68 divided by 2. Okay, now it got placed as a center. So we don't want this point anymore, right? So this is just for our reference. Okay, we have placed our first text here. So let's go for the next text. So you classes. Okay and uh, yeah, escape let's go for rotate and resize like this so this will be um, 0 0.45 okay it got too big really big so let me just adjust this like this okay it looks good or else let's drag it towards top and Let's reduce the scale as 0 0.45. Okay. Let's dry it like this. Okay, make it as a center. Okay. Mm, yep. Can go for the point. Okay, dimensions from here till here 22.48 okay I think we got uh, okay so 24.48 divided by 2 okay we got our center point so uh, yeah of so let me just um, draw a circle like this and uh, one more circle like this inner will be uh, 26 it looks too small so 28 and this will be 30 or else let's go for the 29 okay okay we don't want to uh, spend more time on this okay so let's go for the extrude or else like a yeah let's go for the sketch view one more time uh, let's select this rotate resize i'm just going to drag it towards downwards and let's click on ok select this rotate and resize i'm just going to make it as a center like this okay Yep, I think now it will be fine. Okay. I know like I am spending more time on this because um, I need this to be placed on a center, right? So we need to place this as an exact center point. So like this. Rotate and resize and little bit towards upwards okay this is fine okay I'm just going to leave this okay so let's extrude this okay flip the direction and to select it select this surface okay now it got placed on the surface and on the other side also it looks really good now you can see it is got capped here okay fine so let's click on okay here we have done with our extrude right 
so we need to cut this okay so let's go for the sketch sketch view and here I'm just going to draw a circle like this and one more circle like this so yeah like in our dia it will be 50.25 okay. I think this will be fine 50.25 yeah I think every, everything will be on an equally spaced feature okay so now let's delete this and let's complete our sketch here okay and for the bottom also and we need to create a center line for the revolve so yes revolve okay so remove material yeah and then let's click on ok here okay it will take some time yep so let's click on regenerate and let's hide all these dead planes and now we can able to see that uh, we got completed our part here it looks really good uh, let's make it as an active part and let's check whether this uh, text has been placed on inside or not okay okay it looks good so let's hide this okay like we have completed this part so let's go for the appearances so let's go for the view appearances i'm just going to give a wooden color for the entire part here let's see okay here and for the stripes for the sketches i'm just going to use white color and then let's see okay here oops what we got left with this okay all right let's go for the intern surface and let's select this I think now everything is covered up right so yeah that's all guys I think it looks really good right now as the same other color for this it looks exactly real right if we go for the shading with reflections oh, it looks good but we can't able to see the exact um, sharp edges right I think I need to edit some light intensity for this okay so that's all guys so thanks for watching so if you want more videos written mechanical engineering or any other content you can comment below or else like if you have any doubts regarding or if you need any kind of tutorial video based on a separate individual tool on a power bi or it may be kind of any kind of software you can comment below so that i will put videos based on that okay so thank you guys we will see next video until then bye